मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स दिस इज माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो टिटोरियल रिलेटेड टू द कॉम्प्लीमेंट सिस्टम इन दिस वीडियो टिटोरियल आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट अ रेगुलेशन ऑफ कॉम्प्लीमेंट सिस्टम एक्टिवेशन इट इज डन एट थ्री स्टेजेस फर्स्ट स्टेज इज बिफोर द असेंबली ऑफ कन्वर्ट एज एक्टिविटी सेकेंड इज आफ्टर असेंबली ऑफ कन्वर्ट एज and third is regulation at assembly of membrane attack complex that is mac first is the before assembly of convert is activity here is the c1 complex you can easily see it has three uh, <coughs> it has six head form of the six collagen like helical on y 18 polypeptide chain and it has two c1r and c1s components so here is a inhibitory protein that is c1 inhibitor what does it does when it attach with the c1r2s2 it dissociate it from the c1q when it is detached from it its assembly with the apc region of antibody is inhibited next is the association of c4b and c2a is blocked by binding c4b binding protein that is c4b bp complement receptor 1 that is cr1 or membrane cofactor protein mcp what does it mean this is the c3 convertase okay now there is binding a protein that is c4b bp cr1 or mcp any one of them have same function when they are attaching here they are dissociating it the factor 1 dissociate when uh, our break them in c4c and c4d inhibitor bond c3v is cleaved by factor 1 so the factor 1 cleaved them from the inhibitor so this is the inhibitor joining with the c3 this is c3 convertase and this is inhibitor protein inhibiting its activity and this factor 1 further cleaving C three convertase. Next is the in alternative pathway, C R one M C P or factor H, preventing the binding of C three V and factor V. So C three V and factor V are very important in alternative pathway. So these inhibitory protein prevent their binding. So this is factor V binding with C three V. So here it is. dissociated with the action of cr1 mcp and factor h and then further factor 1 break them into d c3f and inhibitory c3v further the factor 1 cleave them c3c and c3d so inhibitor bond c3v is cleaved by factor 1 so factor 1 is further cleaving inhibitory associated c3v next is the assembly at the convertase no here the convertase is attached with the membrane and how it is controlled c3 convertase is dissociated by c4b bp cr1 and factor h and decaying accelerating factor that is def def so this is c3 convertase all these protein dissociating it's all component in making it unable to perform the act third type of regulation is the regulation at the mac level this is the c5v67 complex here is a protein that is a s protein when it is inserted with c5v67 it further prevents binding and formation of the mac next c567 
and C8, it is forming C5, 6, 7, 8. Here is the homologous restriction factor that is CHRF and membrane inhibitor of reactive lysis MIRL or CD59 bind at the C8 and preventing its assembly with the poly C9 and inhibit the complete formation of the MAC. Here HRF and MIRL RL binding with C8 and binding there is inhibited with C9 and the proper formation of MAC is inhibited here. This is all about the regulation of the complementary system. I hope friend you very well understood the various protein involved in complementary regulation. If you have any doubt you can comment in comment box. If you like my video subscribe my channel and share this video. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day.